When I went in for the appointment on the 12 month checkup, the pediatrician said, I think there's something wrong here. So we had a lot of tests done and it came back uh, positive for Rett syndrome. And, you know, I flashed forward to her future and it felt like she wouldn't have one. Duchenne muscular dystrophy is, a, is the most common genetic um, muscle wasting disorder that's diagnosed uh, in boys. Initially, um, it was difficult for my wife and I to, to think beyond those terms that, that our sons would, would not live into adulthood. The number of individuals afflicted in all rare and orphan diseases around the world um, is over 350 million people. The biggest problem of rare disorders is that drug companies do not invest in solving these disorders even though that the disease outcomes are so devastating. So consequently, by contributing to developing models that can test new therapeutics, we actually serve a community that would be in effect neglected. The Rare and Orphan Disease Center at Jax was established to make sure that the preclinical mouse models that are necessary to accelerate drug discovery were available to the scientific community. Discovering these mutations in the animal models first and translating that to the human genetics takes us in a couple of different directions. And probably the more important thing for the patients themselves is that now we have an animal that has the same genetic disease as they do. That gives you a lot of power that you didn't have before. Instead of guessing whether this drug might have any effect on a motor neuron disease, for instance, you can actually test in the same genetic model that the patients are dealing with uh, whether or not this drug can do what you want it to do. The Rare and Orphan Disease Center partners literally with the entire scientific community. It's never any one individual researcher's lab, you know, who, who really hits the home run. It's a collective effort over a number of different laboratories, researchers, um, NIH-driven programs, foundation efforts, and even contract research organizations. We've been approached by a number of different disease organization and disease advocacy groups in the past. And they've asked me specifically, how would I get more researchers studying this particular disease? The, the biggest response is find the best models out there and get them into the Jackson Laboratory and make them available. Our collection of mouse models is over 5,000 unique strains and everybody has um, pretty much clear access to them. And, and, and that's a pretty powerful tool. At the Jackson Laboratory, there are unique resources here that don't exist anywhere in the world. I think that the Orphan and Genetic Disease Unit is well positioned to um, both provide not just the research tools, but also the knowledge about how do you most effectively use these tools. That's really beneficial, I think, to any organization to have resources behind their, their efforts that are, that are well characterized and, and well established. I think if you are a parent of a child who has been recently diagnosed with Rett syndrome, I think you can feel hopeful. We're so lucky that we know the cause, and that's, that's half the battle. We're now spending the money and gathering the money to find the cure, and, and that's going to happen. I'm absolutely positive that's going to happen. I like to tell people when uh, Matthew and Patrick were first diagnosed, the world was in black and white because there wasn't a whole lot of research on the horizon. Now they're looking at gene manipulation therapy where they manipulate small pieces of RNA that helps with muscle function. And if you arrest the progression of degradation of muscle function, to me there's no difference between that and a cure. The most successful endeavor that the Rare and Orphan Disease Center has um, encountered has been with a particular foundation called the Spinal Muscular Atrophy Foundation. I've never seen a community rally around a disease like that. We have over 40 or 50 models now for spinal muscular atrophy and I'm happy to say that spinal muscular atrophy actually has um, a drug in clinical trials now um, and it would be my wish that we no longer ever have to 
distribute another SMA animal because this will all be cured in the next few years.